everyone welcome to the channel today in this video we are going to learn how to calculate the days between dates in salesforce and we are going to learn this concept for both salesforce lighting as well as a classic experience so let's proceed and first see the formula for number of days between dates so in salesforce there are various scenario where we are need to get the number of days between two dates and for this we need to find the difference between two date values in a number format by subtracting one from another and the syntax for this is visible on your screen either you have to subtract the end date from the start date or you have to use the date value function to get the end date value and the start date value in subtracting it as per your choice so now let's proceed and see how to get the number of days between two dates in salesforce lightning first with the help of example so here i open my salesforce account and i am in a lightning experience so i am on a home setup page if you are not on a main home setup page you can click on this gear icon and from here you can click on this setup option so now after moving to the main home page setup you have to click on this object manager and from this object manager you will get the list of all the objects that are available in salesforce now from here you have to choose the object from uh, which we want to get the number of days between two dates so here i search for the order so i search in a quick point box and click on the order now you have to click on the fields and relationship option as we are going to create a new field for the formula of getting number of days between the two dates so for this i click on this new button that is on the right side and from here i get a number of fields that are available in salesforce so now from here i have to choose the field type so i choose the formula one as i am going to get the number of days between the dates so it creates a formula i select the formula and click on the next button so after clicking the next button it asks me to set the field label so here i set the field label as a delivery days so when i click on the field name it automatically populated when you scroll down you can see that it shows the formula return type as we are getting the number of days between the dates so it always return in a number format so i select the radio button next to the number and when you scroll down in options you will get a option of a decimal places by default its value is set to 0 but i want to set it to z by default its value is set up to 2 but i want to set it to 0 so i set it and i click on the next button to proceed so now it's time to add the formula for getting the delivery days so for this i use the two days that is expected delivery date and a effective date so basically this effective date is a order start date so here we are finding the number of days between the expected delivery date and the order date by subtracting the effective date from the expected delivery date So when I click on this check syntax button it shows that there is no syntax error if you want to add description or help text you can add it and even you can blank field handling option is there you can handle the fields so when you click on the next button it moves to the next step and from here you have to set up the field level security so basically it gives the edit access to the profiles that are available in salesforce i want to give the edit just all the profile for this field so i click the visible checkbox uh simply and click on the next button now it uh, ask me to choose the page layout in which you want to add this field so here is only one page layout that is order layout so i click on it and click the save button so it successfully create a formula that uh, get the number of days between two dates so to check whether it is working or not i click on the app launcher i search for the orders object and from here i randomly choose an order when i click on the details here is the order start date and here i add the expected delivery date as the 2nd of august and click on the save button you can see that it shows the delivery days at the 97 so it subtract the two fields and give the result so with this i we have learned to get the number of days between two days in salesforce lighting now we will learn this process for the salesforce classic so i click on the profile and click on the option of a switch to a salesforce classic so after 
switching to the classic edition you have to click on this setup button that is located on a top then you have to scroll down and move to the build section located on the left side you have to click on the customize drop down and from here you will get the list of all the objects from here you get the object in which you want to get the number of days between the dates so let's see example for a lead for this case so i click on a lead drop down and select the fields as i am going to create a new formula field for this so now i scroll down and move to the lead and the custom field relationship section and here i click on the new button so now it asks me to choose the field type so as i am going to create a formula so i click on the formula radio button and click the next to move ahead now in this step i have to set up the field label so here i set the field label as a total days when i click on the field name it automatically populated when i scroll down and move to the formula return type from here i click on the number as we are going to get the number of days between two dates so it shows us a decimal place is set to 2 by default so i change it to 0 then i click on the next button to move a next step now this time i have to add the formula for getting the difference between two numbers for calculating the total day so for this i have used two fields that is end day time and a start day time of a lead so here i also use the date value function to only get the date value from the date time value of this field basically this end day time and the start day time is a date time field type of a field so but i only want to get the date uh, from it so i use the date value function so uh, and uh, here i subtract both by using the minus operator so when i click on the check syntax button it shows that there is no error if you want to add description you can add you can also add the help text now i click the next button to move to the next step and in this step i have to select the profiles to whom i want to grant the edit assets of this field so i want to grant the edit assets of this field to all the profiles so i click the visible check box and click the next button so when i click on the next it ask me to choose the page layout in which you want to add this field so i want to this uh, field to add to all the page layout for a lead marketing sales port and the layout so i check all the field page layouts and after that i click on the save button to save this uh, get formula for getting up the days between the dates to check whether it is working or not i click on this plus icon and from here i search for the leads object so here is the lead object so here i randomly pick up a lead and uh, when i scroll down i click on the edit option and uh, here i set up the start date and here i set up the end date and click on the save button so here you can see that it shows that the total days are 8 so with this we have learned to get the number of days between two dates in salesforce classic also so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day